So this is the beginning of iteration two in which we will work on the project setup. And we have done this iteration multiple times before and we know what we need to do. So there's no really need to break it down and write it down. I already know what this iteration is about. So we're gonna create a new Xcode project. I need to fit the screen here. And we're working with single view application. And I'm gonna call this, don't forget to use your last name if you are in the class. You can use anything else if you're not. So this will be address book. And then the organization name, organization identifier. Uh, you've already set that up before and Xcode remembers the settings that you had. And uh, we'll say that um, language is Swift and the device is iPhone. Next. Uh, we'll save it in, uh, <clears throat> save the project. And don't forget to check create get repository on the Mac and then create. It's going to take its time and create the project on your phone. And then we'll set up the uh, simulator. So I'm going to run this on a 6S simulator. You can run it on any simulator you would like. Um, uh, I don't have any uh, teams here, uh, which is fine. So don't worry about that status. And setting up the, uh, this is called, by the way, the configuration. So this is the configuration uh, view. And you can access it by clicking on the uh, project. I want to keep a launch screen and then we have an app icon so we can add the um, asset catalog for the app icon uh, launch image so so our app icon we have uh, these different sizes so you can uh, download an uh, icon from a website and I have done that uh, already so I use the flat icon website and downloaded an icon here and I downloaded the uh, largest uh, size uh, which is 500 and used a preview to change the size to the different sizes. Um, and then don't forget that you have to uh, attribute and this is the instruction for how you can attribute if you use this website. So uh, let me grab the uh, files uh, so 22x that's 40 and 3x that is 60 and 29 2x that's 58 and 3x that's 87 and then the uh, 2x of 40 that's the 80 and then the 120 and the 120 will come here again and the 180 oops so these are uh, the different that doesn't look like a 180 might have made a mistake here uh, let's see uh, tools size no it is a 180 all right 180 it is so we added the icons and then uh, we have a launch screen uh, so I can add, I'll add another image uh, I'm gonna use an image and I'm gonna call this rename this and I'm gonna call it the uh, launch and I want to add the 512, the, the main, the original one. So that's my original one. And then, uh, so I added the images and set it up in my configuration, added uh, everything. So now I need to set up the launch screen. So we have done that multiple times. So you know the drill. Uh, <clears throat> In the attributes so we can select the view and give it a background any background you like and then add an image so we bring in an image controller image view 
and attach to it my launch image adjust the size a little bit and add a label with some information about the app and the developer so I will say this is uh, add this book you can change the color uh, here and you can increase the size and if you increase the size notice how it gets cut off so you have to adjust the label to uh, to reflect the increased size that you had and then I need another label here and I'll say this is copyright uh, uh, 2017 and then I'm gonna put my name in there uh, <clears throat> This is also where uh, you would want to add the uh, credit for the label or if you have any other items that you want to uh, credit. And if you go back to the browser, here is the message that they would like you to add. So I'll take that message and copy it, paste it here. And perhaps change the size a little bit. Make it centered and I'll change the color. Alright, so that's my uh, my launch screen. So the, the last item uh, to set up the project is to add the repository. So I go to the github that you see that you or to your github project and say create a new repository. And since it has my name, I'll just use uh, 17SS address book. And I'm doing that because I do that every semester. I'll keep it private and do not initialize the repository because I already initialized it. So create a repository. And then copy this URL. Uh, so command copy. And back to the project, we go to source control and to the master and say configure and under remotes add a remote repository give it a name origin is fine and then add remote and then done so we added the uh, remote to the project and set up our application and then you can um, commit and um, and push I will only commit here because uh, First time it will ask you for the username and password for your repository and I'll do that um, uh, outside the video. So we'll say here set up uh, app configuration uh, icon and launch screen. And then commit all the changed files. And that's our uh, project setup. So we have uh, we got everything here. And project setup iteration is done. So in the next uh, video, we'll work on creating uh, the model.